um, institutions first. Um, I don't know uh, what you think about institutions, but I find a lot of definition is very loosely used. Um, if you think of institutions, they're really unwritten set of rules. Uh, they are codes of conduct, very seriously put down. So think marriage. There is no manual, but you know there are a set of beliefs and norms around it. Why I'm asking this question first is I think we need to understand the nature of institutions to be able to say when and how they can be made inclusive. Because if you think about it, institutions by their very nature are actually exclusive. So they are bound to make you think as if a group should go together. Think of the IAS in India. It's an institution. You know, it's very exclusive. Uh, you can't get in just like that. Once you get in, you know, it's an exclusive club. Think of a premier club. You know, I know of Royal Bengal, you know, golf club. It's very hard to get the membership. So my point is institutions, to be made inclusive, you need effort. It will not happen just like that. And to make the point, I want to just give one data of the British Civil Service, which I know more about uh, because I work in it is, uh, you know, in 2011, there was a Public Sector Equality Act that was passed to examine what is the data of women in the British Civil Service. It is 54%. Um, senior Civil Service, which is the top management, it is 38%. Then Asian and minority is also tracked. So, coming back to the point that to make institutions inclusive, um, the thinking that BFID follows is that, you know, leave no one behind. It's about who, who is and where, who, where one participates in an institution. So the first E, I don't know, you may have been, uh, you know, conversant with this, is examine. So it's not going to happen in theory. So if the institutional changes to happen, we examine the data. That's the first principle. So I gave you an example of the data. It is rigorously tracked every year how many of the women in the senior civil service in UK are performing and how many are able to get in. And then is a second E, which is about engage. So there is a discussion which is active on how to promote women into the senior civil service. So the second E is engage. And the third E is empower, that the senior management needs to empower the women. And the women need to assert themselves. You know, nobody needs to empower them in that sense to be able to come together. So the basic point I want to get to is, you know, institutions by their very nature, since they are very exclusive, an effort has to be made to make them in inclusive. Uh, the start has to, made from the, has to be made from the top. Uh, board level, uh, directorship level, senior civil service, as I gave an example. That's how uh, institutions can be made exclusive. The final point which I want to make, you know, here, and then we can go into discussion when we come to that, is, is when, we, when we talk about innovations and partnership, once an institution becomes a bit more inclusive, once it gets into a mode of humility that, you know, these are the things that institution cannot do, then only you get into a partnership and which works well. So in DFID, we learned, you know, very early on, uh, that we can't do everything, right? There are things that others do better than us. And that's where we do the partnership well. So when we are doing, you know, advocacy work or grassroots work, we make a choice that, you know, certain such organizations uh, perform very well on civil society, in the private sector. So we, we, we use the term, we are very sector agnostic. We are very partner agnostic. Uh, we will go and partner with anyone with whom we think we can achieve the common objectives. So I leave those remarks as initial remarks and I can come back to with some examples on, you know, anti-corruption, which is, you know, one of the goals 16 and very difficult one, where you can't really address corruption without working with multiple partners who go across disciplines. So police, to right to information activists, to journalists, to counter fraud, you know, auditors, to forensic auditors. Uh, so uh, partnerships is inherent and I want to conclude by saying absolutely no doubt that without inclusive institutions, uh, you cannot achieve such level of complexity of goals that we have in goal 16. Uh, it's the question of how. So CBSC type answer is yes, of course, you know, it, it should be and it will be. 
I think the key that we want to deliberate here is what are the steps, how it can be done. Thank you.